Our nation uh, is a nation where every American, regardless of their age, their race, their sex, their income, is uh, by law treated the exact same or should be treated the exact same in the eyes of the law. That, in a nutshell, is the fundamental ideal of our democracy, of our democracy. And it's, but it's not enough, as Professor Tribe has pointed out, it's not enough to say that, uh, that everyone has the same legal rights uh, to do uh, 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 as saying that everyone actually uh, has equal rights to justice. Um, there, there's a disconnect here sometimes, as Professor Tribe pointed out. So in order to protect these rights, we have to ensure that every American has real and meaningful access to justice. And sadly, as I've observed over my 36 years in the United States Senate, we are still struggling. We're still struggling to make that a reality. We're not just talking about a lack of access for poor, fo poor folks here. It's becoming and has been, I would argue, for the last 25 years, an increasing problem for hardworking middle-class Americans to receive access to justice, particularly civil justice. Middle-class middle Americans are struggling to make end meet, ends meet, and uh, they have uh, real legal issues. But increasingly, they can't afford uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, deal with those legal issues in a way that gets them the full benefit of the law. The statistics are staggering. In many states, well over half of the civil cases, half of the civil cases have at least one party with no legal representation. You know, uh, an old judge famously remarked, justice is open to everyone in the same way as the Ritz Hotel. <laughs> well, uh, the fact of the matter is it's true, and all of you in this room, veteran most Americans, know that to be the case.